talk about another vid, and today, I'll be reviewing Little Shop of Horrors versus a, the musical versus the Bronx Tale of the Musical for my Broadway battle. Now, a Broadway battle, for those of you who don't know, is when I put two shows written by the same author head to head to see which one wins. Now, a Little Shop of Horrors, the musical versus a Bronx Tale of the Musical, both of which have music by Alan Menken. Now, the, the, the categories are how long did the show play on Broadway, two points for every year, how much did the show gross on Broadway, three points, which means to go one more Tony Awards, this includes revivals, one point for every Tony Award, the reviews, that's going to be ten points, last ability, that's fifteen in High school theater, that's 25. In last ability is 20. How long did the show play on Broadway? The original one, A Little Shop of Horrors, premiered off off Broadway in 1992 before a movie with, where it played five year one. Little Shop of Horrors closed on November 1st, 1982, after five years after a five year run. At the time of closing, the musical had played 2,209 performances. The musical was the third longest running and highest grossing musical in off Broadway history. The reason why the show never opened on Broadway is because the original creator in its original carnation because the director felt that if the show went to Broadway it would lose its intimacy. And now you get it a smaller theater. On May 6, 2003, Little Shop of Horrors finally made its Broadway debut on a Broadway stage. The musical played at the Virginia Theater, now nowadays known as the Hayes Theater. The Hayes Theater is almost 600 seats. The musical closed on August 4th, 2004, after 337 showings. When did the show close on Broadway? I mean, how long did the show play? A Bronx Tale, the musical, follows the same storyline as the 1993 film of the same name, of the same name, starring Chad Palmentary. The musical opened at the Paper Mill Playhouse in Melbourne, New Jersey. The musical opened at the Paper Mill Playhouse on February 4th, 2016. After a successful run at Paper Mill Playhouse, the musical started previews on November 3rd, 2016 and officially opened December 1st at the Long Acre Theatre. At the Long Acre Theatre. The, the Long Acre Theatre is just over 1,000 seats. A Bronx Tale closed on Broadway on August 6, 2018. At the time of closing, the musical had played 29 previews and 700 regular performances. How long did the show play on Broadway? Both A Bronx Tale and Little Shop of Horrors will receive four points because both musicals only lasted two years on Broadway. Right now, Little Shop of Horrors has four points and A Bronx Tale has four points. How much did the show gross? I do not know if either show was able to make back its initial investment, but a Bronx said in his closing notice that they were close enough to where there was a chance they could still make their money back on Broadway, or they would, or they were definitely, or they were definite, or they were definite that they would make it back their money back on the tour. So I would have guessed a Bronx. To, I'm going to give the points. I'm going to give the points to a Bronx Tale of the Musical. So I'm going to give the point. I'm going to give the points to a Bronx Tale of the Musical. A Little Shop of Horrors has four points, and a Bronx Tale has seven points. Tony Awards. Neither show was nominated for any Tony Awards, so both shows will win five points. A Little Shop of Horrors has nine points, and a Bronx Tale has twelve points. New reviews. A Bronx Tale got mixed reviews, when Little Shop of Horrors received. Horrendous reviews in pre-Broadway and on Broadway, so I'm going to give the 10 points to a Bronx Tale. Little Shop of Horrors has 9 points, and a Bronx Tale has 22 points. Which musical are the better plot? Little Shop of Horrors is about this guy named Seymour, and he waters this plant, and he's watering this plant. The plant en eventually ends up eating everyone. A Bronx Tale is about this guy named Colosio, and looking back at his childhood. In my opinion, Little Shop of Horrors has a better plot. Little Shop of Horrors has 24 points, and a Bronx Tale has 22 points.
Last ability. Neither show has had a revival, even though the production of Little Shop of Horrors is technically a revival. A Little Shop of Horrors was technically a revival. I uh, I do not count it because the original production never opened on Broadway. So both shows win 10 points. Little Shop of Horrors has 34 points, and Bronx Theater has 20, 32 points. High School Theater. Neither show was on the most performed High School Theater list. So High School Theater list. So I'm gonna give. Each show 12 points. One shop of horror has 46 points and Bronx has 42 points. Final tally. Winning by only two points is Little Shop of Horrors the Musical. That's all for today. Now go watch your play. Like and subscribe. Peace out everyone.